Good morning, friends. This is time for the trade plan for 22nd of June, 2020. Now, today, the Nifty is likely to open about, uh, you know, the SGX is showing you 10,165. That's about 70 odd points lower. And uh, I think that would be exactly in our zone, the pivot zone where we would like to buy. Obviously, if the price starts to reject the 10,165 sort of zone. Overall, you know, uh, I think markets are likely to improve. Lots of people got bearish with the Friday US market fall, but no market can keep going higher. And uh, given the way we've closed last week, I think dips are likely to get bought into. And uh, I would. Uh, possibly believe that all sorts of bears and naysayers will get very surprised because all of a sudden the market is likely to have a large upside rally with you know these small setbacks so my sense is that uh, the way we are positioning you know for the last three to four sessions, you had a three is to one, four is to one advance decline. Now that does not happen in a bearish scenario. Lots of people say it's because of reliance, etc. That we'll know because uh, leadership keeps changing around in a bullish market. And you will see that uh, other stocks will also take leadership. And as I've been explaining for the last many, many weeks, that, uh, you know, things are turning around and the seller is getting exhausted. So unless we understand, you know, why something is happening, uh, we will not be able to understand what is going on in the market you know all this news flow corona china india all that is in the price we are higher since india china happened we are higher since uh, you know corona virus is going up it's very clear nobody is locking down again the problem is not Corona. The problem is the lockdown, which was anticipated because of Corona. So still, you know, financials, uh, you know, the large heavyweights, they look good. Plus what looks good are also quality mid caps. You know, stuff like SBI cards or Godrej properties, etc. Uh, they look good. Let me share my screen and show you uh, you know the charts for the day This is the daily chart of the Nifty. 
look at these solid green bars which are happening my sense is that you will soon cross this uh, 10330 zone and then you will get the serious fomo which will happen and uh, a rough target could be you know closer to 10800 to even 11000 because once you know this fomo starts you know from 10330 we came down to 9550 that is about uh, 800 points you add 800 to about 10330 that's closer to 11000 so what i am expecting is a fairly large fomo rally and that could happen throughout the world the smp in my opinion also has a temporary setback if you see the weekly chart for the nifty i think again look at the size of the candle you had an 800 point 700 point move in the last week we've almost taken out all bearishness of the week that was previous so i mean what are we worried about if you look at the monthly chart for the month we are higher this was an inside month and we have broken out and we are now way higher last week's uh, last month's close was nearer to 9500 this month we are up 700 okay so i don't think there is anything to worry about similarly on the bank nifty as i have been saying that the buying is returning at higher and higher level the moment we cross this 21600 sort of zone 600 650 you will again have a ballistic move here again to see the weekly chart while it's underperforming the nifty this is a strong bullish candle so i think about a 2000 point candle on the bank nifty so i don't think there is anything to worry about and i still believe that there are enough bears in the market who will be getting taken to cleaners as we speak the scx is 10200 so our kind of setback is not going to be very large so i would anticipate that we could have another surprising update so in terms of the s&p 500 if you have a look at this i think you can easily see that still the swing is on the upside friday i would think we were in some sort of uh, you know quadruple witching and uh, that is their sort of expiry trade and often 
you know things sometimes behave in a manner uh, which are not explicit uh, which are not explained by uh, you know the movement in the market so i would not worry greatly about the s&p 500 so i think we are doing okay on the s&p 500 and this is still a fairly decent uptrend okay so nothing to worry and uh, today's full back should be bought into the nifty as well as the uh, bank nifty and uh, we should look for higher levels instead of trying to worry about that x y or z is going to happen because uh, by doing this i mean who will be missing out i would think by giving all these economic theories people who are missing out you know there is nothing these people know that the market does not know and that often is the problem because you know all these issues are priced in the market is the wisest amongst all of us and the only thing we can do is listen to the market if we try to impose our will a we miss out b you know the doomsday day sayers the naysayers are always very intellectual they like to think they are the most intelligent whereas the bulls they don't use their mind so you will see people like noriel rubini mark faber uh, you know uh, jim rogers they have all great logic but the market does not bother about them so that should be it for the day i think we are looking at a very positive and a very surprising week ahead so take care trade well and please consult your financial advisor